Blue Origin has recently unveiled more details about New Glenn and its upcoming launch than we've known for the entire duration of this rocket's development. Currently, New Glenn hardware is standing tall on the launch pad, including its booster, which has been confirmed as flight-ready hardware. But that's not all. We've also received exciting updates about changes to its recovery vessel, detailed flight profile plans, and the ambitious goal of launching twice this year. Let's dive deeper into the recent rollout, uncover all the new insights, and discuss what we can expect in the coming months on today's episode of SpaceX Flight. A short while ago, the company announced that New Glenn is on its launch pad. The Pathfinder vehicle is gearing up for its first ever rollout and vertical lift, set to undergo a series of tanking and mechanical system tests. Both the first and second stages of the New Glenn vehicle, now standing tall on the launch pad, are equipped with their tanks and ready for action. Blue Origin has stated that the rocket will stay vertical for at least a week to undergo a series of tests in preparation for its maiden launch later this year. Interestingly, the first stage isn't just for testing, it will be used in an actual New Glenn launch attempt. Currently, the stage is still missing some crucial components, such as landing legs, strakes, fins, and its 7BE4 engines. The recent tests conducted on the booster didn't require the engines or other missing hardware. Instead, they focused on an integrated tanking test, also known as a cryogenic proof test. In this test, the booster was filled with liquid nitrogen, simulating the conditions of liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas to ensure the fluid systems function properly and assess the tank's ability to withstand cryogenic liquids. If the results of this test are a success, they will attempt a hot fire later this year. In a surprising turn of events back in 2022, Blue Origin unveiled new details about its flight profile. Initially, they intended to repurpose a recovery vessel for downrange landings, which would be located 1,000 kilometers away from the launch site. However, a swift change of plans ensued, scrapping the ship altogether. Instead, they opted for a barge model akin to SpaceX's. This strategic shift isn't just about convenience. It's a testament to Blue Origin's commitment to cost efficiency, aiming to make space access more affordable for all. The company will attempt to land New Glenn on the first try, driven by their confidence, highlighted in their extensive experience with New Shepard. While this experience is invaluable, it's important to note that New Glenn is a significantly different rocket. Achieving a successful maiden flight and first attempt landing would be incredibly impressive. This ambitious feat is something we might witness later this year. The new Glenn fleet is gearing up for an ambitious start with the production of four boosters. Currently, Blue Origin has three complete second stages and another three in production. To support reusability, they're building a booster refurbishment facility about a mile from LC-36, aiming to land a booster and have it ready for its next flight in just 30 days to start. Initially, the second stage will be expendable, but there are future plans to make it reusable as well by constantly exploring engineering solutions to avoid expending second stages, fairings, and other components, following a strategy similar to SpaceX's approach. Blue Origin is making significant strides in cost reduction by producing second stages and fairings in-house. New Glenn is planned to launch up to 24 times in a year, with the potential for even more in the future, reducing costs even further thanks to economies of scale. They are also brimming with confidence in their engine design, thanks in part to the recent successful ULA Vulcan launch. This rocket, powered by two BE-4 engines on its first stage, marked the engine's debut liftoff, proving their capability. We've also seen a significant increase in engine production, aligning with the demand for both Vulcan and New Glenn boosters, and ensuring timely engine deliveries for upcoming static fires. Among their ambitious goals is the plan to land the booster on its maiden flight, showcasing the company's bold vision and commitment to innovation. The future of Blue Origin and New Glenn is thrilling as this latest partially reusable launch vehicle is set to enter the booming private launch services market. It promises to lower mission costs to low Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. That's all for today's episode. We really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please share your thoughts with us in the comment box below. We value your input, and it helps us create better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.